Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to Get A Life. I'm uh, right at the uh, bridge, right up the front of uh, Phuket at the top, where it joins onto the mainland. Swap the uh, click out for a better bike. Honda ADV. Look, the rains are here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a road trip. So if that's something you're interested in and you're looking at doing something, get away from, uh, get off the island for a day or two and go somewhere new and exciting, stick around. Okay, so here's the plan for today. I've got the uh, map up here. Uh, heading from the bridge, I want to get over around to uh, the viewpoint overlooking Phang Na Bay and then up through the guts and maybe have a sleepover up at uh, Talat Yay. Right. We're uh, in Phang Na province now. So I've uh, just gone through the first small town. Very quaint. Nice scenery. going on down here. See what the leads are up to. Oh okay. So they've had a big land slip in there. Fixing the road and trying to stabilize it. You see a few of these over here in Thailand. I remember uh, earlier this year that whole uh, section on the road that goes over from uh, Patong to Katu just slipped away like this and they sort of uh, got in and sorted it out and opened the road in about a month. So. overcast and it's a bit drizzly rain pisses down for a little bit and then stops it's really nice because it looks like um, it's got that Jurassic Park vibe going on with all the mist around the mountain it's pretty cool man it looks nice So, hopefully the microphone's not all speared in from getting a bit wet, but just arrived at this base of this viewpoint. I'm not allowed to take the bike up. I'm gonna go in the back of this. So we're just waiting for another couple of people to come. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at this viewpoint. Look, if the weather was better, it'd be a bit more fun, but man, the roads are quiet. There's hardly anyone around. Yeah man, awesome rides out here, um, so definitely worth considering. If you've got a couple of spare days in Phuket, yeah, recommended. Good job. It's only the beginning though, we've got plenty more caves to do today. And uh, yeah, have a sleepover somewhere and head back to the island tomorrow. Rightio, we'll see what happens with this little mini bus that's going to take us up the top, or the Hilux. And just like that, the rain stops, the clouds part, and there it is. Wow. Even in the crap weather, Thailand's turning it on, man. 
Southern Thailand. I don't know whether there's anywhere better in the world. It is absolutely pissing down, as you can see. Had to stop for a little bite. It's getting super windy. Real storm coming in now, so I'll uh, find this little shelter that I found. I'll shack up here in the shelter for a little bit and see how we go. Try and wait it out and see what happens with the storm. Rightio, keep you posted. Okay, so after that debacle today, uh, Made it around to the viewpoint, got absolutely smashed by rain after that and then uh, doubled it back to Saracen Bridge and went back to Patong, another hour back to Patong in the sideways rain. So uh, we'll give it another crack, another day. Rightio, well here we are again, down at uh, back at the Saracen Bridge, a couple of days later, going to give the road trip another try. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we go today. Uh, rubbish weather last time, Did uh, ended up doing 180 k's and it took about five hours sideways rain it was bloody horrible so uh, hopefully this time we'll uh, get a bit further I don't know whether we'll do a uh, sleepover I covered a fair bit of it last time but uh, I'll put the map up show you where I want to get to today and if we find somewhere nice I might have a sleepover and get back early in the morning or uh, I might just do the whole lot in one day we'll see how we go but uh, yeah stay tuned should be a bit better got my awesome raincoat the uh, rain's just about cleared up, but we're just hoping for a bit more blue. The roads are starting to dry out a bit, and uh, the bike's going like a champion. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, so uh, headed about oh, 10 or 15 minutes north from the bridge, from uh, into Pangna, and uh, now we're just taking a left turn and then run along the beach and uh, get ready for the first stop. Looks like a bit of a fancy, sort of expensive area for getaways here. There's no one around at the moment. You can see the way how uh, how rough the sea is, and that's because of the monsoon season. We've had some big storms, which are just cleared, as I've mentioned. If you are coming over in the wet season, I made a video about it a couple uh, weeks ago. If you haven't seen that, have a quick look. But God, please take it careful in the surf. 
a uh, young lad from Kazakhstan actually drowned just yesterday on uh, on Phuket. So, well, they're having a couple of drownings a week. People go out in shit like this and think they can bloody swim like a lifeguard, man, and it doesn't come off well. So, uh, yeah, please bear that in mind. But it's pretty all the same. Turned around quickly because I wanted just want to show you these uh, fish farms. So these are massive aquaculture all over Thailand. So they've got all these ponds here. They aerate the ponds. You can see the uh, the little paddle wheels there aerating. Lots of the time it'll be prawns. Then they'll just pump one pond to the next and uh, catch all the fish. All the prawns is there moving them around it's a really big industry man over here in thailand so yeah it's just something you don't see all the time at home but it is getting a lot bigger in australia i know that but man these are everywhere like thousands and thousands of these fish farms or prawn farms are all over the place so Coming into a bit of a local area here. If you are riding a bike over here, man, you've got to watch out for the sand and uh, other gravel and crap that washes up on the roads. Slippery as shit. Not real good. Oh, straight ahead still. There's a big hole, it's filled up with water. All the uh, all the minerals and the metals in the water make the water go super clear and really blue. So uh, it's supposed to be a bit of a swimming spot. Overcast, crappy looking day. Hopefully there'll be no one there. I'll have to join to myself. We'll have a quick look. So here we are. Ta Tiang Swimming Basin. So typically, like most of this road trip, as soon as you get somewhere cool, the rain start. But the water is super clear, so we'll go for a swim. We'll have a look at the colour underneath, see what it looks like. Well, this little machine, there's a little area that's sort of fended off so kids can swim either side, but the water's like a friggin' bath, man. It's like 28 degrees, it's beautiful. All right, let's have a look how clear this is under here. The mic will be full of water and sound like crap now, but it feels nice. It's fresh water, but it's like really soft. It's good. Hopefully you can see like how clear it is in that area where I was just filming. Sorry, it's on a bit more light. It would have looked super awesome, I reckon. But yeah, it feels nice, nice and warm. They've got some like paddle stuff over here for the kids, and there's a lady up there with a shop. Low season, shitty day. Kids are at school. Simon's out playing, so yeah, we'll jump out. 
push on to the next spot. So we're just coming uh, off the beach road and back onto Route 4, which is the main drag basically between between Bangkok and Phuket. We're on the main roads and I need some fuel so it's good timing. Come up. So, fuel's in. You just rock up, open the cap. That's how much it was 240 baht for 6.02 litres. Uh, priced up there 39.85. I'll put some uh, conversion up on the screen. So, this thing has done 280 k's. For six litres, man, that's mint. Navy lads just in a bit further up the river. Cool man. Alright, we better work out where we're gonna go next. Just coming out of the jungle into KLA. Bit of blue sky around. Beautiful. Well, we're here. It says Talat Yai, but none of the signs are saying Talat Yai. It's Taku something else. Really strange little town, man. It's like a film set. Look at it. Not many people around. Heaps of stuff's all closed up. Yeah. Very, very strange. All right, we'll have a quick scoot around here. I need a drink anyway and might head back. Don't need to have a sleepover. I was going to stay up here, but. It's only one o'clock, plenty of time. So, yeah, we'll have a scoot around and see what happens.
Yeah, a bit strange, man, this little joint. I'll find a drink. Do some route map back to, uh, back to the island, back to Phuket, I think. Sort of cup. Friggin' rain. This is where I came in on. Just stopped here for a uh, quick drink. Still about an hour and a bit to get back to Phuket. Just pulled over down here, just where that bike's going past now. Bip, bip, bip. And did this. Friggin' whole back wheel just caked in mud. Just sunk right up into it, it cracked. So that's gonna be flipping off for the next K or so. But yeah, good roads man, the weather's alright, look it's overcast, it's uh, definitely worth getting out on a bike if you've got a license and, and uh, get off the island and have a look at the mainland man, it's awesome. So we made it back into the back of Batong and of course it starts raining immediately. No rain since about 11 o'clock this morning. Now it's quarter to four and it's raining. Bastard. Oh well, time for a beverage, something to eat. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you on the next one. <laughs>